understanding the list agreement in real estate. In the world of real estate, a listing agreement is a crucial document that defines the relationship between the property owner and the real estate broker or agent. This agreement is essential for sellers looking to market their property effectively and for agents who are representing them in the sale process. Let's dive deeper into what a listing agreement entails and why it is important. Peter Mancini with Scott Harley. What is a listing agreement? A listing agreement is a contract between a property owner, seller, and a real estate broker or agent that grants the agents the authority to act as the seller's representative in the sale of the property. It outlines the terms and conditions under which the property will be marketed and sold, including the listing price, the duration of the agreement, and the agent's commission. Types of listing agreements. Now, there are several types of listing agreements, but the two most common are open listings and exclusive listings. Now, what's an open listing? In an open listing, the seller can engage multiple brokers or agents to market the property. The broker who brings a buyer that successfully purchases the property receives the commission. What's an exclusive listing? An exclusive listing gives one broker or the agent the exclusive right to market the property. If the property is sold during the listing period, the broker is entitled to the commission, regardless of who brings the buyer. The, here are the key components of a listing agreement. One, property description. The listing agreement should include a detailed description of the property being sold, including its address, legal description, and any unique features. Number two, the listing price. The agreement should specify the listing price at which the property will be marketed. This price is typically determined through a CMA, Comparative Market Analysis, conducted by the agent. Three, duration of the agreement. The listing agreement should state the duration for which it is valid. This is usually a specific number of days, weeks, or months after which the agreement may be renewed or terminated. Four, is the big one, the agent's commission. The agreement should outline the commission that the agent will receive upon the successful sale of the property. This is usually a percentage of the sale price and is negotiated between the seller and the agent. Five, the seller's responsibilities. The listing agreement may specify certain responsibilities of the seller, such as maintaining the property in good condition, making the necessary repairs, and allowing for showings. Six, termination clause. The, the, the agreement should include a clause that specifies the condition under which the agreement may be terminated by either party, such as non-performance or breach of contract. Now, in conclusion, a listing agreement is a vital document in the real estate transaction process as it defines the terms of the relationship between the seller and the agent or broker. By understanding the key components of a listing agreement, both the seller and the agents can ensure a smooth and successful property sale. I'm Peter Mancini with Penn Realty.